Para... We'll, we'll see if we can clear this dungeon, but I, I don't think we're going to do the true endings today. Because, I don't know, it depends on- oh! I- I still can't quite believe that you're the son of King Clavius's brother. I didn't know there were, uh, Medea cutscenes here. That makes you Prince Charmel's cousin, doesn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. Fate can be so cruel. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's been decided now. There's nothing to be done about it. Oh dear. Um... Oh yes. What about Munchie? Can you believe that little mouse was really ten million all along? I really can't, honestly. Did you have any idea? Nope. You know, all those years ago, when I first found you in the forest, it was Munchie that led me to you. To think that Chen Mui has been watching over you all this time, and from your own coat pocket, no less. I didn't know there were Medea scenes here. I might have to go to the Mystical Spring in that case. So I'm, I'm gonna bring the sword back, I think. I'm gonna equip that. Alright. I wanna go back to the Mystical Spring in that case. See if we can get another- I didn't think there were Medea cutscenes in post-game. I guess it makes sense though, because there was that much story. So it kind of makes sense, I suppose. Alright, so after this, we gotta go to Marta's Cottage. And there should be a glowing circle there. I kind of remember there being a glowing circle there, now that I think about it. So we gotta do that. And then, um, we'll be in the next post-game dungeon. I don't know what's gonna happen with the true endings. They're gonna take so long, so I'd rather not do them today. I might have to stream on Friday. Here's what I'll do. I'll stream on Friday, and I'll do the true endings then, and then after that, I'll probably stream something else, because it's gonna be a really short stream. So I'll be a member of the royal family of Argonia soon. I've accepted that. It's my duty as princess. It's just that no matter how hard I try, I simply can't imagine getting married yet. I mean, I don't have the faintest idea what it means to be a wife, and... I don't have the faintest idea what it would feel like to live away from you, but it can't be helped. I've got to get myself used to the thought. I've got to be strong. Farewell, my faithful palace guardsmen. Dude, I love Medea. She's great. Yo, Milnews, how's it going? Welcome. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's go to Martha's Cottage. Alright. Here's what's going to be the plan, guys. So, ideally, I would like to clear this dungeon today. Again, we have to see how long it is, but assuming it's not crazy long, clear it today. I'll probably stream. I'll stream the two endings on Friday, and then it won't take very long. So after that, we'll play a different game. I have another game I want to play and get back to post-game of. I've been talking about a game that I did a playthrough of, and I kind of want to get back to it. I'll probably do that on Friday after the true ending, I think. Because I don't- I, I, really, I really don't want to stream more than four hours today. So yeah. I'm doing okay, Milnus. Back to streaming. I haven't streamed in a while, so uh, I'm really happy to be back to streaming it really is exciting haven't streamed in so long haven't even played video games in so long i'm just happy to be back uh i'm taking out angelo we're gonna use jessica red and maury yeah it's a good team i think next dungeon i saw had higher levels as well also hey Mil yeah <laughs> next dungeon had higher levels uh okay i was i was looking into that Game facts. I looked at game facts. A guide on game facts. They said 75, but then other people said you can do the dungeon before 75. So I'm like 69. We'll see how much of a chance I have. That's really all I can really think of. Memories Lane. Oh, I love it. This is the new dungeon. So apparently this is exclusive to the 3DS version. What's this? 
This is Memories Land, where those once slain linger as souvenirs of the mind, begging to be laid to rest once more. Come hone your skills, test your metal. This is interesting. Uh, yo, we get to refight bosses? This is the very first boss of the game. I think Geezer was his name? I love these dungeons. You get to refight. This is like Tales of Vesperia's X dungeon. I love it. Yo, we get to refight boss battles. That's really awesome. I love it. Yo, really awesome. Geezer in Memoriam. I love it. All right, you know what? No, we're not psyching up right now. Yo, this is awesome. DQA has really good post game. I'm really enjoying the post game of this game a lot. Uh, use this. Basically a boss rush. Oh, awesome. I love boss rushes. Oh, I got bl I blocked that for some reason. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, start second up. Oh, we red is um red can't do an action rip. I thought red. I was playing to have red use multi full heal. Ow. Yeah, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. Oh, now you get an action. All right. Yo, I like this. I love boss rushes. I love games that have you refight bosses stronger. I love those kinds of games. I think Tales of Asperia and Tales of Zillia does this. It has like a memory dungeon. I love it. This is really awesome. It's, it's, like, it's like a nice nostalgia trip, you know? It's like nice nostalgia, like, oh, remember when we've been through this and we, we did this? It's really awesome. It's, it's basically like me thinking about my time with the game. It's really awesome. I love it. I don't even feel bad that I didn't do those last two dragons. This is much better. I'd rather do this. You can guess. Oh, I did a lot. Love it. Time for Kaboom. Alright, that didn't do as much as I thought. Did I psych up? I can't remember. Alright, you use Curse Mist. I don't know if I like that. I don't know why I deflected, though. Whatever, Omni Heal. DQA has really good post game. I love it. I love the post game in this game so far. It's really nice. Ow. So you fight like every single boss, I'm assuming? That's really cool. No, I did not want to attack. My bad. I did that on accident. That's not what I wanted. Oh wait, you know what other game did this? Star Ocean 3. Star Ocean did this. The third Star Ocean game did this. It had like boss rushes of previous bosses. That game did that. I forgot about that. Totally forgot about Star Ocean 3. Yeah, I love when games do this. But Star Ocean 3 wasn't a boss rush, it was just an actual dungeon. Star Ocean 3 was a dungeon, and then you just fought bosses from the story. I think that resets my psych up. Which I kinda hate. Alright, I hate the thing- I hate this thing cursing. It- it wasn't able to curse me in the beginning of the game. It definitely made Geezer more powerful. <laughs> definitely. He was not able to curse me in the very beginning. Uh, Alright. This is still working out fine. Bum, 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 bum. 
Alright, so psyching up is useless. Basically. Or at least psyching up to a high number is useless. Alright. Use Giga Gash. I'm gonna just have you guys unleash your attacks now, I guess. You should be almost dead. I got some high damage numbers on you. Alright. <laughs> the game did not like that. It lagged a bit. Be gone. Hand of God. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, you I got him. Alright. First boss defeated. Love it. Oh, look at the experience! That was like 55,000? That's crazy. I love it. Oh, did I learn something? Yeah, would that be really nice? I don't know what I learned, but I learned something, I think. I, I, I sped through the text too fast. I didn't see it. DQ8 has really good post game. I like Dragon Quest XI's post game as well, but my goodness, this post game is like amazing. The, the trials were interesting, even though I'm not going to do those last two dragons. The trials were an interesting concept. The, the whole story, the bit of story it had was interesting, and this is really cool. I should be fine with levels then. If all the bosses give me this much experience, I'll be like probably 80s by the time I get out of here, maybe. Seed of Strength. Oh, they give seeds. Nice. Awesome. Oh, give this Seed of Skill to someone. I forgot to do that. Uh, give this to Red because of Blade Cascade. I'm not giving- Jessica's like a point away, so I'm gonna give it to Red, I think? Perfect. Fire in the hole is our- Fire in the hole is ours. Love it. Alright. Rogri is maxed out with her. Probably can't switch out party members, can I? Oh, you can switch out party members! Yes! Love it. Thank you, game. And I can quick save. Oh my goodness. Guys, you have no idea. Tail I was so mad when Tales of Symphonia had a dungeon. Tales of Vesperia has the same dungeon, but there's a dungeon where you can't- Oh, I can't go this way. I had to go the right way. Alright, so... Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Vesperia. Basically, older Tales of games have a trend of dungeons without save points. I thought this dungeon was going to be the same way, but it's not. I can quick save. I love it. Oh, hey, we got some chests. Yo, I love this. Elfin Elixir, I'll take it. Ethereal Stone. We could save in here, so we can even do some of this today and some of this next time if we need to. Seed of Strength, nice. I'm giving that to Red, because Red Blade Cascade is too powerful. Yo, I love this. This this is like amazing. Oh, this is the White Priest, I think. It was like the second boss, kind of like a mini boss, I guess, so to speak. This is so cool. I, I I don't know what else to say. This is really awesome. Oh, Tortured Soul, not White Priest. The White Priest is the enemy. Never mind. Start psyching up right away. Oh, you have Kassizzle. Okay. Cool, cool. Ow. Okay, you, you don't seem to have a curse ability, which I like. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, you call for backup. I think you did this last time as well. I can't remember. Oh, what's this? A secret summoning signal from Mori that has monsters flocking to the fight. Grande Gusto. A tasseling, a tan tasseling trick that allows it to use the Oh, psych up two levels. That's like an upgrade of Intenso? Oh no, it's two levels guaranteed. Nice. Love it. You know what? Do that on myself. Oh, you dropped tension. That's annoying. Time for this. See you later, Milnews. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with everything. Okay, you can use oomph. That's bad. And you can buff. Alright. Actually, not that bad. At least you can't curse. Ow. 
Alright, so might as well full heal while we have the chance. Jessica, it's time for a kaboom. I have to see what fire in the hole does. Have to. I mean, what else can I say? I have to. Oh my goodness, that is so awesome. I love it. This game keeps blowing me away. Some of this is new, some of this is old. Like, it's just blowing me away. DQA is a really good game. All right, time for Omni Heal. I'm doing that fire in the hole again. That was awesome. I love it. Oh, look at that damage. Now we're talking. Oh, you heal, rip. That's not that much. I can make up that damage. Oh yeah, my damage is not actually high. Never mind. Uh so for this. Gonna have to get your fan out. Definitely gonna have to psych up because these guys are not taking much damage. Actually, with Moria, I should just use the attacks. I don't know why I'm psyching up. Why am I even bothering? Should just use the psych up a bit. Like, oh that's unfortunate. I have an idea. I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Just do that, cuz. Actually, no. Try cuz snooze. I want to see if that. Nah, probably won't work. Uh, use Accelerado. Get Nova up. And then I want to try using that Grande Gusto thing on. Oh, it's only on myself. Never mind. It's not gonna work on Jessica. I would have to use Intenso on Jessica. It's fine, though. We're, we're doing fine. It's all good. Ow. Okay, these guys hit pretty hard. Maybe the guy was right. I should be higher leveled for this, but that doesn't matter. I'll try. Uh. Like up and then we'll have red do the thing. No, do fire in the hole again. I like it. Did I heal with Nova? I don't remember. Oh, I used Omni Heal. Perfect. Do that. Get her up to 50. Oh, it's only to 5. Oh, that's fine though. It's stacked. Nice. I hate how you could drop my attention. Alright, they're healing, but that's fine. I'm just getting Jessica all psyched up. And then once that is done, she'll do a ton of damage to retaliate. Do that. They're not healing that much though. He shouldn't be that high on health. I would think. That is so awesome. I love it. Red has Red has two really good moves now. Oh that did a lot. Probably because I was like max tension. All right, Jessica, it's time for Kaboom, I think. The middle priest should die really soon. I would think he's almost dead. Do it. All right, that did good. Kaboom is going to be my main source of damage, I think. Oh, there we go. We got two of them. Nice. All right, this this boss fight is ours. I mean, we won this one. We should die in a few turns, I would think. 
shouldn't take long at all. You don't have your friends anymore. You're all alone. So you should just give up. Got it. Oh, we also got 55,000. We're going to be getting a lot of, lot of experience from the bosses. I already love this game, but this post game is just making me like it even more. No question, we're using that on Jessica. Alright, so I'm guessing it's just bosses, no enemies. It's just a boss rush. I like that. Like, I don't mind encounters, but... Straight up boss rushes are really nice. I love it. I love straight boss rushes. They're, they, they don't really happen too much in games. They're not very common. I don't really know many, like, RPGs with boss rushes. Also, they're giving me lots of seeds, which I love, which I love. All right. I'm going to take Jessica out and bring Angelo in just for a fight or two. I'm going to try using a bit of everyone, you know, because why not? Oh, it's the it's the can the box thing. I forgot your name. But um, it's the the can the box flying thing, whatever it's called. It was in the Swordman's Labyrinth, I think. I don't know. It's been too long. I don't remember.